Hello dear students, this is problem number 17 and chapter 4 of engineering mechanics statics 9th edition. Okay, so in this problem, determine the force in member BI, CI, and HI for the loaded truss. All angles are 30, 60, and or 90. Okay, so this is the end, this is the truss, this is the loaded truss which is loaded at point I 4 kN and loaded at point H is 2 kN. The angles between this this all triangle are equilateral triangle. This triangle, this, this, and this, or this triangle are all equilateral triangle. Therefore, the angle between these triangles, uh, these uh, members are 60 degree. But this is also equilateral. But there is a trick, a small trick. This is 60 degree, and this is uh, 30 degree. This makes 30 degree with x axis and the whole angle is 90 degree and same triangle is this okay so this is not a symmetrical um, by loading because uh, the at the right side if you cut this at the midpoint so at the left side there is 4 kN and the right side there is nothing there is no force acting on point G therefore therefore this is not symmetrical so we have to find uh, forces in bi which is this bi and ci which is this member and hi which is this in this three member we will find forces in this three member okay but finding these forces there is uh, more than two unknown forces acting on every joint therefore we so first of all we isolate this uh, truss and uh, show the reaction forces on this truss and find uh, also the reaction forces so first of all we have to find the reaction forces so so there is the, there are three uh, uh, equations of equilibrium which is moment at any point is equal to zero so moment uh, acting on this truss equal to zero so i fix a point a all the moment at this point equal to zero so moment equal to force into distance so distance is a divided by 2 from a to i there is a a divided by 2 distance and the load is 4 kilometers so 4 into a divided by 2 this is anti-clockwise so clockwise is let's say clockwise is equal to mm, positive sign so 4 into a divided by 2 and there is another moment um, produced by this load which is 2 kilonewton so a plus a divided by 2 equal to uh, 1.5 uh, 1.5 a 1.5 a r 2 a divided by 2 okay into 2 word okay so 2 into 3 a divided by 2 so 1 a is this and plus 0 point, uh, 1 divided by 2 a 0 0.5 and 3 divided by 2 equal to 1.5 okay so negative this is another force which which produce moment at point f which is away from the distance between a to f is a plus a 2a 0.5 a 0.5 a 1a 1a plus 2a equal to 3a multiply by 5 uh, fy which is the reaction force so 3a multiplied by 5y which is um, which produce anticlockwise this is in anticlockwise direction therefore in the i put here negative sign equal to zero so 5a negative uh, if you calculate this uh, it will come 5a negative 3a uh, multiplied by 5 fy equal to zero so fy will equal to 5a divided by 3a a is cancelled with a okay so fy equal to 1.667 kN. So, summation of all horizontal forces acting on this truss equal to 0. So, if there is only one force which is AX, AX equal to 0. So, and summation of all vertical forces equal to 0. There is one force is AY, the another vertical force is 4, and the another vertical force is 2, and the another vertical force is FY. So, there is 4. No, there is four forces which acting on this truss, whole truss. So, Ay 
plus fy negative which is directed downward that's why here is negative 4 negative 2 equal to 0 so ay plus 1.67 minus 4 minus 2 equal to 0 so ay will equal to uh, minus 6 when I move here to the right side uh, it will become positive 6 negative 1.667 so ay will equal to 4.333 kilonewton okay so the reaction for ay equal to 4.33 kilonewton and the reaction for ax equal to 0 so the reaction for fy equal to 1.667 kilonewton okay so now I want to take giant A to find the forces in these members so uh, summation of f of i because there is uh, less than two unknown forces okay so summation of f of i all horizontal forces acting at this joint equal to zero. all vertical forces acting at this joint equal to zero so a b no, a b cos 60 degree oh, sorry cos sin 60 degree a b sin one component of this force so a b sin 60 degree it is the component of a b force so plus uh, a y only these two vertical forces acting on this joint equal to zero so a b will equal to negative a y divided by sin 60 so a b will become equal to uh, negative 4 at the place of a y i put 4.33 kilonewton divided by sin 60 if you calculate this so a b will come out negative 5 kilonewton so uh, the negative sign mean that my assumption is wrong a b is not intention it is in compression I was assumed that this AB is intention, so it is not intention, it is in compression. No, I want to uh, take a uh, uh, horizontal force, so all the summation of all horizontal force acting on this joint equal to zero. So there is two, three forces one force is this, one force is this, and one force uh, is the component of this AB force. Okay, so AX which is ax directed to, to the right side and plus ay directed also to the right side equal to ax plus ai plus the uh, horizontal component of ab so horizontal component of ab ab cos 60 degree equal to 0 ai will be equal to negative ax negative abx ab cos 60 degrees so ai ax is equal to 0 at the place of um, ax i put its value which is equal to 0 negative into negative 5 which is this a b value negative 5 cos 60 degrees so a i equal to 2.50 kilo newton okay now i want to take joint b to find the force in these members so in this uh, uh, at this joint uh, joint b there is a uh, four three forces acting on it okay so summation of all horizontal force acting on this joint equal to zero so there is three forces one component of horizontal component of this force horizontal component of this force and horizontal component of a b force so a b cos 60 degree horizontal component neg plus b c cos 30 degree its horizontal component and plus b i cos 60 degree its horizontal component equal to zero negative into negative at the place of a b I put its value negative uh, negative into negative 5 cos 60 plus B C cos 30 and B I cos 60. So B C will equal to negative 5 cos 60 minus B I cos 60 divided by cos 30. So it's uh, B C will equal to 2.8 at 7 point minus uh, 0 0.577 B I for example let's say this is equation one so now i want to uh, take all the vertical forces uh, acting on this joint so vertical forces um, negative a b sine 50 this negative means that the force directed downward so a b sine 60 which is this force a b this is the negative horizontal com vertical component and this is its horizontal component so a b sin 60 negative b c sin 60 negative b c b i sin 60 negative b c sin 30 equal to 0 so negative into negative at the place of a b i put its value negative 5 because in sin 60 into b i negative and at the place of b c 
as a pillars of BC, I put this equation. I put this equation. Equation. So negative negative two point eight eight seven negative seven point zero point seven seven five bi, which is this, and mm, it self sine thirty. It is sine thirty equal to zero sine thirty. So it is sine thirty equal to zero. Okay. So uh, if you calculate this. Uh, it will become 2.887 negative 1.1.155 bi equal to 0 so bi will become equal to 2.887 divided by 1.155 uh, if you calculate this uh, the bi will become 2.8 2 2.50 kN which is intention the positive sign means that my assumption was right oh, my assumption was right it is also intention okay now i want to put this equation for example this is equation 2 put equation 2 in equation 1 to find bc okay so bc will become equal to 2.887 minus 0 0.577 at the place of bi is 2.5 which uh, I find this value bi at a place of bi I find it 2.50 so it is 2.50 bc will become equal to negative 4.330 kN it means that my assumption was wrong this negative sign means that my assumption was wrong it is not intention it is in compression bc is in compression okay bc I was assumed that it is intention, but it is not intention, it is in compression. So now I want to take joint I to find uh, the force needed force HI, BI, and CI. Okay. So BI also, I have already BI find it, find it. So summation of all vertical forces acting on this joint equal to zero. So bi sine 30 sine 60 plus ci sine 60 equal to minus 4 equal to 0. This is negative 4 equal to 0. Ci will become equal to at the place of bi. I put its value. Mm, sorry, sorry, I not put its value. So I move it to the right side 4 minus bi sine 60 divided by or sine 60. So see i will become four it is four four minus two point one sine sixty divided by sine sixty if you calculate this uh, c i will become two point one two kilo newton which is intention and my assumption was right it is intention so summation of all horizontal forces is equal to zero so a i which is this force horizontal force ai horizontal force this force negative ai negative bi cos 60 degree so bi is the component of this bi bi cos bi cos 60 plus ci cos 60 the component of ci ci cos 60 degree plus a h i which is this horizontal force h i equal to zero so a h i will become a i plus b i cos 60 minus c i cos 60 so at the place of a i b i and c i i put its value so h i will become 2.50 plus 2.50 cos 60 plus minus 2.12 cos 60 so if you calculate this whole if uh, uncalculated so h i will become 2.69 kilonewton which is in tension uh, my assumption was right it is in tension so the needed for forces and member are find it out so bi is equal to 2.5 which is in tension ci is 2.12 kilonewton which is also in tension and hi is uh, 2.69 kilonewton which is also this is also in tension okay thank you very very much